Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 19.3 nutrient cycles. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 19.3 you need to describe the carbon cycle and for extended describe the nitrogen cycle and state the roles of microorganisms in the cycle. The carbon cycle is the natural process through which carbon, the main element in all organic compounds, moves between the Earth's atmosphere, plants, animals and the environment. The cycle begins with photosynthesis, which removes carbon from the atmosphere and incorporates it into plant biomass. Plants, algae and some bacteria convert carbon dioxide into glucose using sunlight, water and chlorophyll. Now some of this glucose is changed into other compounds, including starch, cellulose and proteins. When plants are eaten by animals, this organic material is digested and some is absorbed and assimilated into the animal's tissues. In this way, the carbon atoms from the plant become part of the animal. Another process that results in carbon being removed from the atmosphere is fossilization. Fuels like coal, oil and natural gas are thought to have formed over millions of years from the buried remains of ancient plants. Fossil fuels therefore contain carbon that was originally removed from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. Now when living things respire and breathe, carbon dioxide is released back into the air. Plants and animals obtain their energy through respiration using glucose and oxygen in their cells. The byproducts of respiration are water and carbon dioxide, which is excreted and returned to the atmosphere. Carbon is also released through decomposition. Decomposers like bacteria and fungi break down dead organic matter, including undigested material, and release the carbon contained within it back into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. Finally, carbon locked up in fossil fuels is returned to the environment through combustion. When fuels are burned in power plants or vehicles, the carbon they contain is oxidized or combined with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Collectively, these processes result in the continuous cycling of carbon, which is essential for maintaining the balance of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and sustaining life on Earth. Okay, so that's everything you need to know for core, so we'll move on now to the extended section. The nitrogen cycle is the natural process through which nitrogen moves between the atmosphere, plants, animals and the environment. When plants and animals die, their proteins are broken down by bacteria and fungi during decomposition. This breakdown releases ammonium ions containing nitrogen into the soil. Ammonium ions are converted into nitrite ions and then into nitrate ions, which are more easily absorbed by plants. This process is called nitrification and is carried out by specific groups of nitrogen nitrifying bacteria. At the same time, nitrogen fixation, which involves lightning or nitrogen fixing bacteria, converts atmospheric nitrogen gas to nitrogen compounds in the soil. Lightning provides the energy to convert nitrogen gas into nitrogen compounds, which then dissolve in rain and enter the soil. Nitrogen fixing bacteria live in the roots of certain plants like legumes and convert nitrogen in the soil air spaces into ammonium ions, which can then be acted upon by nitrifying bacteria. The nitrates produced by these bacteria are absorbed by plants through the roots and used to synthesize amino acids. Amino acids are then assembled into proteins which are essential for the growth and development of the plant. Now some of these plants will die and decompose but others will be eaten by animals. During digestion plant proteins are broken down by enzymes into amino acids which can be absorbed and incorporated into the animal's body. As we learned in topic 13.1 excess amino acids cannot be stored so are instead broken broken down by the liver to form ammonia through a process called deamination. The ammonia is then converted into ammonium ions and excreted by the kidneys. Finally, nitrogen is released back into the atmosphere through denitrification. Denitrifying bacteria obtain their energy by breaking down nitrates to nitrogen gas, which replaces that removed from the atmosphere by nitrogen fixation. Collectively, these processes result in the continuous cycling of nitrogen, which is essential for the growth of plants and the functioning of ecosystems. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 19.3, Nutrient Cycles. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 19.4, Populations.